masterpiece in London and um, masterpiece is difficult to describe. It's an exhibition that covers a broad range of uh, interests from antiquities to contemporary art, design, uh, customized motorbikes and of course jewellery which is why I'm here. So what I've done is I've had a look and I've picked out some pieces that you really must come and see for yourself because this event runs until the 4th of July so you've still got time to come and have a look at what I think is an increasingly important jewellery event in London. Symbolic and Chase is one of the Bond Street antique jewellery dealers and they specialise in 19th century French jewellery as well as contemporary and I saw here two pieces by Jar which is quite exciting as well as some pieces by René Boivin and Suzanne Belperon. But what I really came to see is this little snake because we were wondering how on earth such an animal could look so lifelike and this little snake has inside his head a vinaigrette compartment. You could snap open the snake's mouth and inhale into your sponge soaked with a pleasant aroma. With me is Thomas Woodham Smith, who is the man responsible for this wonderful event. And what I particularly like is that there's an awful lot of jewellery. The whole concept behind this fair is to mix all periods and all scales and all sizes. You know, it's the <coughs> ultimate fusion of everything. The message is you don't have to be contemporary to be modern. You can have things from any age and still be part of the modern world. The paintings, the bronzes, the sculptures are all in their many, many millions. So it's a balance, balance in value. You don't have to come to spend a lot of money, but equally you don't have to come and spend any money at all. You can just look and handle and even put on something fabulous that you'd never otherwise have access to. It's quite an experience. Yeah, really. no, it's good. Now, I've discovered something very special. I want you to come and see this because not only are they beautiful pieces of jewellery, but they're also very, very significant because they are, in fact, Gabrielle Chanel's very own Verdura cuffs. Now I'm with Ward Landrigan, who is CEO of Verdura, and I'm um, Ward. Can you tell me how these cuffs came to be and their history? From what I can piece together, the center sections were originally designed as brooches by Verdura for Chanel. Uh, he, he and she met in the mid-twenties at a party given by Cole Porter and his wife Linda. Mm -hmm. And shortly thereafter, Verdura moved to Paris to work with Chanel designing jewelry. What he did essentially was remake jewelry given to her by her lovers because she had lots of jewelry and lots two, of lovers. Well, two very rich ones. And it's interesting, I knew they were important to me because of our history with but I didn't realize how how revered Chanel is. I mean she literally freed women's bodies. I mean that's what she did. And then, you know, she was one of the first to bob her hair, get a suntan, smoke in public, I mean on and on and on. My guess is these were brooches or designed originally. Because the center section's gold and the stones are precious but not good quality. And they're very similar to the brooches now in the Chanel collection. And my guess is, I don't know how his thought process went, but the idea of putting them on cuffs for Chanel. These are actually base metal. They're not even silver. It's not even silver. Not even silver. And then with enamel and, on top. Well, actually, it's not even enamel. It's lacquer. Lacquer. Yeah. You can see so it's been patched up. Lacquer. Yeah. It's got several coats on it because yeah. it's it's. Well, I mean, she wore them for, what, 70 years, something like that? You know, because even the little drawings, the Cecil Beaton drawings of her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she's got them. Yeah, anyway, it was great fun. And now, of course, we like to show them because it, it means something. And it's part of our history, too, which is great fun. Fantastic. What a great story. Thank well, you for thank you. Me. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank it was fun telling.